Who is the next to, con to contribute to this wonderful gathering? This time it will be the guest speaker who will join us. Welcome, Megan Pertobi. Thank you for this valuable opportunity for me to stand before you today. My name is Negin, and I am a Kurdish Canadian. As a member of Kurdish community, I carry with me the echoes of generations who have faced the pain of discrimination, the weight of racism, the weight of occupation, is still struggling for recognition. But in this moment, I stand here not only as a Kurd, but as a voice for those others, wherever they may come from, who have faced, confronted the pain of prejudice, the pain of racism, or have been subjected to colonialism, or like us, they have faced the pain of occupation. To start with, we need to welcome the richness of our differences, to listen to each other's stories with open heart and open mind, and then we can see the beauty of diversity, the differences, and realize that regardless of our skin tone, regardless of our race, nationalities, gender, religion, we are all human and united as one. I'm going to tell you a story, but before that, I want to ask a question first. How many of you know about Kurdistan? Would you please raise your hand? Thank you. The story that I'm going to tell you is the story about the four largest ethnic group in Middle East. The four largest ethnic group without their own country. This nation has faced an imaginable, unbelievable hardship only because they were Kurdish. Still, its ongoing hardship for this nation is something it happening every day, day by day. You can check the news and see what is going on in this history. The story that is about history of resilience and determination of Kurdish people born in ancient land of Mesopotamia where the ancestors were the leaders in building civilization. Imagine Imagine the happiness of their being, blending with natural melodies of their homeland, reflecting the profound connection with the land which is Kurdistan. Imagine families like yourself, while they rooted in their own land until a political game of chess, of course, the dirty game, divided them in four different countries across Iran, Turkey, Syria, Iraq. Imagine how families got divided under different countries can you feel the pain? Can you imagine the pain? 
imagine, try to picture those cousins once looked unbreakable, so close to each other, like a family. Now, under different flags and different nationality and different countries. They were not able even to see each other. There were always restrictions for those people. And it was not only about seeing each other. It was about the unimaginable brutality against this nation. The brutality is started from that point. It started from discrimination to outright persecution. This family, this nation has faced unbelievable hardship only for simply for being Kurdish. Systemic operation try to deny their basic right, suppressed the traditional practices, question the very humanity. Concrete effort try to make them to forget who they are, where they come from, to eliminate their Kurdishness, they, to eliminate their identity as a Kurd. They faced genocide of Anfal. 180,000 people were killed simply only because they were Kurdish. They faced chemical bombing. 5,000 people were killed in one day. They never give up on their language. They never give up on their identity, their Kurdishness. Never. They were in a front line to fight against ISIS. Go check the internet and then put ISIS and Kurdish people. It's a proud. The resilience and determination can be exemplified of people's human spirit. We passionately wait for the time when our nation in four parts of Kurdistan reunites again and become one. It's underway. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Negan Partovi, for your stories. As diverse as your experiences are, it has certainly been most enlightening. Please give Negan Partovi another well-deserved applause. <laughs>